Welcome back to Tashkid FX for another price prediction update and in this video I'll be giving you a price prediction update on Phantom whose current price stands at the 0.2196 dollar mark and here on trading view the market is up by 7.47 percent and in this video I want to give you the long term and short term scenarios that can play out here on the Phantom chart and I want to kickstart my analysis here on the daily charts giving you my analysis basing it on the ADO trade structures, the Fibonacci's and also the key areas of support and resistances and allow me to kickstart the video by giving a brief of what has been happening here on the phantom chart from these low prices that we had been trading within we saw a very nice impulsive movement to the upper side taking us back to an all time high at around the 3.5 dollar mark and in that movement to the upper side here on the daily chart I'm terming it as a higher edge to have count one to the upper side and after seeing the all time high we have been seeing this massive ABC corrective movement which has now taken us back to around the 0 0.3 0.16 dollar mark and in that movement I believe that is the formation of a higher edge to have count two and after seeing the low for that higher edge to have count two whatever we expect next is an impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of a higher edge to have count three then expect a wave four and then continue pushing higher in a wave five and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this edge wave structure you can see within the formation of this high edge to have count two hg which is a corrective wave we also expected to see an abc corrective structure and we are seeing it right here having this massive abc corrective structure taking us back to around the 0.16 dollar mark and giving you a measure from the all time high this market is down more than 95% meaning uh, that soon the maybe th there are chances that the bear market low for phantom might be in and soon we might see that a reversal to the upper side in the formation of this higher edge to have count three to the upper side given that the market has has given us a corrective movement of more than 95.7 percent so there are chances that soon we are seeing that a reversal to the upper side in the formation of this higher edge to have count three to the upper side and giving you a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this higher at the 12 con 3 here on the daily chart uh, using the trend based Fibonacci connecting it from the low of the first wave to the high of that wave one then dragging the fibs to the low that we made at around the 0 0.16 dollar mark that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this higher edge wave count three at the fib level 1.618 and that is at around the 5.76 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I would expect phantom to do in the next bull market once we see that a reversal that we are expecting in uh, to the upper side in the formation of this this impulsive movement to the upper side and getting to the one hour chart because that is where things are getting a little bit interesting here on the one hour chart you can see we have the formation of this channel which we managed to break out of to the upper side we also had this trend line that is over here we managed to lose the trend line to the lower side and I expected phantom to retrace back to around the 0 0.17 dollar mark because that was our next key area of support but we didn't quite uh, get to that key area of support and then saw a very nice reaction to the upper side over here and I believe here on the one hour chart phantom is obeying the edge of structures and if I draw out my edge of structure we can have this as a first wave to the upper side then we have seen the formation of our wave 2 making our low at around the 0 0.17 dollar mark then the movement that we are in at the moment is an impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of a wave three then expect a wave four and then continue pushing higher in a wave five to complete a higher edge to wave count one to the upper side so once this edge to wave structure that i have drawn out over here is complete then we can name that movement to the upper side as a higher edge to wave count one which might be a fractal wave in the formation of that impulsive movement to the upper side that we are expecting on the daily chart this might be the start of that impulsive movement to the upper side and getting a little bit into the details of the formation of this editorial structure that we have right here you can see after making our high for that first wave we saw a very nice retracement over here in the formation of our wave 2 and using the Fibonacci's we can get to see whether this wave 2 has done the minimum that we expect our wave 2 to do by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave with one and that gives me a minimum retracement area between the fib level 0 0.618 and the fib level 0 0.5 which is a target area that we have fully maximized here on the phantom chart and after seeing the low for that uh, with two over here we saw a very nice reaction to the upper side and within this wave two which is a corrective wave we have also seen an abc corrective structure having these as the wave a then a wave b 
then uh, we've see which has fully maximized uh, this target area that I have drawn out here using the Fibonacci's and after seeing the low for this wave 2 whatever we expect next is an impulsive wave to the upper side in the formation of a wave 3 and I believe that is what is playing out here on the phantom chart and using the Fibonacci's that is the trend based Fibonacci we can sketch out a minimum target area to the upper side in the formation of this wave 3 by connecting the Fibonacci's from the low of the first wave down there to the high of that wave 1 then dragging the Fibs to the low of the second wave and that gives me a minimum target area to the upper side at the Fib level 1.618 and that is at around the $0.2273 dollar mark and that is the minimum that I'm expecting this impulsive movement to the upper side to do in the formation of this wave 3 and that gives me the primary scenarios that I expect to play out here on the phantom chart. There are chances that a phantom might continue pushing higher given that it's trading above the 20 uh, the 20 day MA and also a key area of support at around the 0.17 dollar mark there are chances that we might continue pushing even higher fully maximize the target area at around the 0.2272 dollar mark and that is my next target area here on the phantom chart once we fully maximize that target area then we can expect a bit of a retracement in the formation of this wave 4 and then continue expecting a very nice bounce so that is an impulsive movement to the upper side in the formation of this wave 5 to complete that higher edge to wave count 1 to the upper side so that's the update here on the phantom chart also taking a look at the indicators to see what movements will be supported here on the RSI on the RSI we are trading at around the 77 mark that means we have managed to get into the overbought region and that would mean maybe on the RSI I'm expecting a bit of a retracement and in that retracement over here in the R on the RSI I would also expect lower prices here on the charts so there are chances that the high for this wave 3 might be in at around the $0.223 dollar mark it is not a must that we fully maximize the FIB level 1.618 there are chances that the high might be in and soon we might start that retracement over here in the formation of this wave 4 before we continue pushing high in our wave 5 also taking a look at the MACD here on the MACD we can see we have uh, an increase in the buying momentum here on the MACD and we have printed a, a bullish cross and that would mean higher prices are coming our way so let's be patient and see how that plays out and I'll keep you updated